I thought you owned that BMW joint. Oh, I did. Until I got tangled up with some better business bureau bullshit, some misplaced VIN numbers, customer gouging, alleged prostitution, illegal organ extraction, semi-automatic weapons found with trace levels of cocaine dust. We had a small wig shop, illegal wig shop made of exotic animal pelts from around the world. Ocelot. Right here. Well, congratulations on your, your wigs and the new dealership. Stevie, come, let's do this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Au contraire. Do you understand foreign languages? Yes. Au contraire means the opposite of what you just said. Yeah. No, because Stevie here, this little boy, get over here. Get over here. This little angel faced mongoloid, he works with me now. Now you tell Mr. Powers to run along now, okay? Uh, run along now, Mr. Powers. Stevie, I'm having a very hard time shoving this pill up my asshole. Kenny, I'm sorry. I have a family that I need to support. Don't be stupid, Stevie. A family can't be two people. A family can be any number of anything. That is the beauty of the term family. Enough, all right? I've heard enough out of you, OK? Stevie, let's go. Come on now. You're making a fucking fool of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you one question, Mr. Powers. What is that blouse you're wearing? It's not a blouse. It's a muscle shirt. It's a muscle shirt. There are muscles, and they're complemented by that gorgeous set of tits you got going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I like your muscle shirt. Bobby, why don't you just walk up to your store and say, I want to build a shark face? You got to pay top dollar, too. Believe me, I know. Bob Duato has rejected me countless times. <laughs> You will now seek your retribution here in front of this beautifully motif shark nautical theme. Behold! No one move! <laughs> Before we dive into our candied yams, I would like to uh, just allow us to pause for a moment. And I, I, would, I would wonder if if Joey here would regale us in a tale that I had the pleasure of hearing out on the back porch. Joey, would you mind telling us a very delightful story that you told me? I'd be glad to. I want to apologize to the men and the women at the table here tonight, and the sluts. There's no apologies needed. Joey, you okay. tell your story. All right. A few years ago, went out duck hunting. Um, one early one morning, it was cold. Cold on a well digger's ass out there. Sure, that's cold. That's cold. And you know, we got these waders on, come up to your chest. Mm -hmm. A waiter that fits you properly should rest just under your areolas. That's right. Just so you don't your, get wet. Just below your nipples. And you're walking through that swamp, and it keeps you dry. Mm -hmm. We walked on in there, and we got set up, waiting for the ducks to come in. And all of a sudden, I had a pain hit me. What kind of pain? Arthritis? No, Mother Nature. Oh, you had to go pee pee. I had to take a shit. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> that's right. You had to make a toilet where you press your poop into. Ah, uh, Nature called. All I could think was, man, I have got to get somewhere quick before I shit in these waders. Absolutely. So I start making my way through the swamp. Exactly how did you move, Joey, like a, like a cat? Swift, swift and careful. So I got on up to knee-deep water, and I said, I can't go no further. I got to get them off. <laughs> so I peeled them things down, and they just like a, one of them tight suits, right skin tight on you, and it just rolls right down. Like a tight-fitting Lycra dance suit? Yeah, something like that. Do you have those? Uh, no, we don't have no Lycra pants. You'll get them soon, probably uh, in the next 10 years. Okay. Got squatted down, and then all of a sudden, buddy, it was so cold out there, when I shit, it broke off. His BM snapped. Just like that. Was part of it still in your anus? Part of it. Yeah. Still in. And then I looked around, and I said, man, I have got to have something to wipe it with. I need some striking paper. Mm-hmm. Did you have any with you? Didn't have none. Had none? None. In my pickup truck. But that's too far away. Too far away. 
I looked at my hands, and I had them old cotton jersey gloves on. Uh-oh. I said, man. I don't like where this story's going. So I pulled one of them off. Okay. And I said, maybe that'll be enough. Mm-hmm. I still keep one hand warm. So the question is, was it a one-glove wipe or a two-glove wipe? Two-glove wipe. It was a two-glover. I had to wipe with both of them. He had to do his paperwork. Paperwork. That's what we call wiping your ass around here. It's paperwork. That's a wonderful story, Joey. Thank you so much for regaling us. Yes, sir. With that tail. <laughs> dumplings are ready. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Mammy's dumplings are the best in the world. Mammy's dumplings will make you come. Oh, kung fu. <laughs> 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 Ashley, no sexy talk at the table. Sorry, Mammy, but they will make your tongues ejaculate in your pants. I thought I raised you better than that, boy. Well, you did, Mammy. I'm just all full of Fanta tonight. You're gonna be full of more than that. You keep talking. Fuck you, Mammy. What? What did you say, boy? Nothing. I would come over there and snatch your ass and whip you in front of all your Asian friends and the and the sluts too. <laughs> Mammy does not like the sluts. No, Mammy does not. Okay, Mammy, I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. All right, then. Now, let me serve your guests. Okay. I love you, Mammy. I do. Joey loves you, too. Thank you, Mammy. Oh, whoa. I need one more. Mm -hmm. Mammy, I want some of that rump roast later on. You alley cat. <laughs> he called you an alley cat. Because you are an alley cat. I'm a dog. You're a junkyard dog. Yeah. Dirty smelling dog. That's what you are. Thank you, Mammy. Love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mammy can be a real bitch sometimes. I heard that. Mammy's family has been in my family for years. Just so you know. Let's raise a glass, please, right here, to our, uh, our corporate friends from the island nation of Korea. We welcome you. We hope for many successful years of happiness and prosperity to Kia Motor Company. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May your lives be, be full of joy and plenty of sex. But no matter how much you may be tempted, never let a dog lick your genitals. Toyota can suck it. Mm. Yeah. Suck it right off. Cheers. Mm. As you all well know, I like to think of myself as a very accommodating host. How is the kimchi, Mr. Paul? Uh, kimchi. Very good. Very good. Okay, you mix very it up good. with the collard greens and the black eyed peas. East meets west. It's wonderful. Wonderful. But make sure you bring some striking paper. Mm hmm. Striking paper. You know what that is. The sluts will tell you what that is. They carry a lot of striking paper with them. That's right. Mammy, don't lie. Man, a Christian woman. We go way back together, Ashley. We took bubble baths together. Mammy said that you would gladly sit on any long vegetable. I didn't think you'd tell nobody you were butt fucking. Mm. You bored my guest to tears with a story that made absolutely no sense. How could a frozen stick of shit leave residue on your cloth gloves? Hand over your firearm to Scott. You're about to shit your pants right now. And it won't be frozen this time. <laughs> Run! Run, Coon! Ocelot. <laughs>